Hey guys, it's Brandon, and this time I'm going to be starting a whole new set of reviews for a new brand that reached out to me, and that is Hairbond from the United Kingdom. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about the Distorter Professional Hair Clay. Now, what makes Hairbond unique is that they're obviously from the UK, and they're a salon-style product that um, company that is geared towards men, but women can also use it, obviously. Um, they come in these little jars, but the thing that I've noticed about them is that they kind of promote using little amounts of product, so it's kind of like you get the bang for your buck type thing. Um, also, one thing that I want to point out that I really like about this that is on all their products is that it has their name on the front. It's hard to see because of the clear, but then it has the hold. Then on the side, it tells you what it's supposed to do and how to use it. Not every product uses that. I don't necessarily need my hand held for everything, but I actually like the way that this is done. I like the, you know, the whole presentation, the different colors and everything. So anyways, let's get right into it. Um, like I was saying, the presentation is in this clear little jar here. I think it's really cool. It has um, all the information on the side I was already telling you about. On the front, it says that the hold strength is three out of five. On the side, it says, um, the distorter creates textured styles with a supple finish. Flexible hold gives hair an uneven, rugged quality, allowing elasticity for ease of use. And then the scent on here says it has a juicy fruit fragrance. And how to use it is to do a small amount in your palms and then rub it in. Personally, I always put this stuff in damp hair. Now, I believe, not to, <laughs> I guess, break the... Um, illusion but I would say that this is true that it is kind of a medium hold and it does do a textured look for me I don't always do like a full pomp with it what I'll do is I'll do like kind of like one of these how my hair already is because I notice longer sides tend to fall out if you don't layer the product here's what it looks like all of them kind of look like this it's just kind of like a normal like vanilla looking flavor <laughs> vanilla looking texture creamy texture and I would say that this is kind of like a like a sweet fruit, but it's not aggressive. I like it scoop wise for this stuff. I don't really scoop it. I rub it. So I'll just rub over the top like that because you don't need a ton of it. So, and then you can kind of go around the edges. If I pull a Brandon and by that, I mean, scoop out half the jar. Um, I'm not going to get good results. This stuff layers in really easy and that's how you want to put it in too. So, uh, application, like I was just saying is, um, pretty easy I mean it goes it really goes like right in the hair um, I do it with the damp like I was saying but this stuff just all around the distorter is really nice you'll notice when you put it in too there's not a lot of tugging and pulling especially with the damp hair <clears throat> but for me you'll notice that like you can feel it start to grip like right here when I'm doing that I can feel it gripping on the sides and whatnot um, when trying to get a style that isn't so, I would say, textured. So say for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply on the side over here, and then I'm gonna put some water on, and I'm going to lock it in. The big stuff, I'm just gonna run my hands through like this, let it do its thing. But for the tight sides, I'll lock it in. Breakdown is easy. I guess I really didn't even have to show you the scoop because it's buttery, and you're gonna to wanna to be sort of on the ball because it will start to wanna like lock in. So for me, I'm just gonna comb my hair and let it naturally do what it wants to do. Um, for this, really, like I said, because it's a hair clay and because it's on the medium side, the only thing I'm really gonna do is lock in these sides right here. So right now I kinda of got that business style look, so to speak. And I'm just going to push it forward a little bit like this. And if you want more texture, you can, I mean, because this will be fine for work, and then I'll just lock this in. But for more texture, you could just hit it like this if you want to give it more of a loose type look. And you can see, there we go. And you can pop it up a little bit. So if you wanted kind of like that loose or, or tussled look, you could do that. Um, I don't wear my hair like that, but this product definitely, not all the time at least, but this product definitely promotes that. I just went and put a little bit more water in it. 
and I'm kind of restyling it the way that I want because I'm going to work after this. <clears throat> but this will be the finishing touches, I think. And what I'll do when I put water in a product like this, it'll dry out and then it'll kind of give me that natural look. This stuff, I believe on the side, says that it's just gives that texture. It doesn't say that it's matte on it. I noticed that it isn't directly matte. I just feel like it has more of a natural look. Now for me, I know this looks like a slicked over type look, but when it dries, it's gonna look nice and matte and then I can kind of rub a comb through it and I can get the rest of the look that I was trying to achieve. So making this short and sweet, what do I have to say about the Hair Bond uh, Distorter Professional Hair Clay? Well. First and foremost, I think that it goes with the exact description. It can give you that textured style with a supple finish. It has the flexible hold and it allows elasticity. You can restyle it really easy. You can add water to it and you can, you know, layer it in till it has a nice textured look. Like I said, I'm wearing mine kind of like that business professional type thing because I'm going to work after this. The sides, you're going to want to layer a little bit more in. But I think that this definitely definitely um, goes for the three out of five holding wise. Use, I'm using it, scooping, styling, applying, applying really, really easy. <clears throat> Out of the hair bond stuff, this is my favorite, one of my favorites, <laughs> but this is the one I've been using the most. I like it a lot and it just goes for what I like. You know, if you're out in the heat, um, your hair gets, I start off like this and then my hair turns into like a textured thing kind of halfway through the day and I can restyle it and kind of go with the flow with that. So I like that this has versatility and I like that this comes off as more of a medium. Overall, if I had to rate the distorter, I would give it a 4.1 out of 5. I think that this is um, definitely great. I think that it is reliable. The thing I like a lot about it is that it does exactly what it says on the side and then also, that being said, you don't need a lot because they do come in like these smaller jars. So for me, someone who scoops a lot, I definitely um, appreciate this product because I don't have to use a lot of it. I've been using it a ton and this is how much I've used out of, out of it. Just And I get good styles with it like you see. Um, my personal preference for this stuff is to use it in damp hair as you saw, then let it dry pop it out but you can use it in dry hair and you can get that textured look that I get halfway through the day with the style that I'm achieving right now. The other thing I like about this even though this is in the UK if you have Amazon or Amazon Prime you can go on there they have all of the products from what I've seen so far even this one on there with the free Prime two-day shipping so that's uh, if you want to try this stuff out it's actually easily accessible to the an American audience so Anyways, guys, um, if you have any questions, let me know what you think about this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and uh, have a good one.